Okay, so I've just watched Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and I have some thoughts and feelings. Watch as I break down the latest Marvel movie, and before you ask, this is completely spoiler free. <laughs> First things first, this movie is as weird as you'd expect it to be. Don't get me wrong though, I love it. From completely outrageous visual effects, to pure moments of fan service, there is so much to love about this Marvel film. But something you might not expect from Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is a gooey warm heart at its centre. This film moves rapidly from plot point to plot point, yet it knows exactly when it needs to take the time to slow down so an emotional moment can land. This is a nice change from the standard quip-heavy Marvel flicks. This is not to say there is no humour in this movie though. As we've come to expect from its MCU predecessors, the Doctor Strange sequel offers plenty for fans of the typical Marvel action comedy. And this really is a testament to writer Michael Waldron. His balancing act pays off big time and it's clear to see why Marvel chose him to create and write the Loki series. And to have Sam Raimi back directing a Marvel project is really exciting. His Spider-Man movies helped shape my love for comic book films, and he once again has proven he can nail this genre. His mix of dry humour and campy horror is on full display in this film, and it's just so good. This movie also gets right what a lot of post-2012 Avengers MCU movies have gotten wrong. Since their glorious debut, a big question sat on the heads of the wider MCU movies. Why don't they just call the Avengers? You don't ask this question in this movie. Again, this is down to the filmmakers. The timeline of this movie is mere days, so the entire two hour runtime is absolutely packed with action. Like Doctor Strange himself, we are thrown into something we have never experienced before, and just as we get our bearings, we are pulled in a shockingly satisfying new direction. Honestly, it's chaotic. But did we want anything else from a movie starring both Doctor Strange and Scarlet Witch? I definitely don't think so. And how about we talk about the stars of the movie? Benedict Cumberbatch has really settled into the role of Doctor Strange, I have to say I was slightly worried after his efforts in Spider-Man No Way Home, but those worries are a distant memory after this movie. Elizabeth Olsen's Wanda also plays a big role in this sequel. She earns every moment of her screen time, and looking back at her MCU journey, it's amazing to see how we've gotten to this point. Wong is back and as dry as ever, with newcomer Sochi Gomez as America Chavez, a welcome addition to the ever-expanding MCU. Now it's worth noting that without watching WandaVision, Spider-Man No Way Home and What If?, you may not get the most out of this movie you can. But hey, this is Disney and Marvel's world now. We just binge, wait, watch and repeat. You might be thinking that I think that this is a perfect movie. It's not. In fact, my biggest problem with Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is its fan service. Well, one particular bit of fan service. Obviously I'm not going to spoil it, but I couldn't help but feel disappointed in Marvel for shoving this thing down our throats only to take it away just as quickly. But be the judges for yourselves, go out, see the movie, enjoy it immensely, then come back here and drop your first reactions in the comments. Or if you've seen it, let me know what you thought. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out our Facebook, Instagram and TikTok accounts for more fun content we post every single day. Thanks for watching, see you next time.